Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Phoenix Point blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It's time to destroy a very early hatching nest. We could let it linger a little bit longer, but I'm not the type of person who likes to let uh, things uh, sit and marinate. I like to take uh, agency immediately, which is what we're doing today. What is your problem? Tell you what, uh, how about you're dropping this, cool, and then you're regaining that, great. Well now, it seems like you have enough uh, ammunition. Somehow the same issue here. Ian needs a repair and Shattered Realm apparently needs a repair as well. I don't even know. Okay, the propeller legs. Well, the equipment seems okay. No clue what the game is talking about. Cool, we landed and we already found some friends. That is quite heartwarming, isn't it? So, in order to get something meaningful out of this here, where are the guns that <clears throat> paralyze them? Okay, so, moving all the way to here. go okay so what I will say is uh, we need someone closer there which means strength hands that over and gives that to grell on further reflection, maybe not. Maybe we're needing someone who's a bit faster. Drangs moves over here. And then looks at Shadow Realm. Who in return dashes all over here. Doesn't matter that the egg will hatch in a second. One, two, three, uh, drinks helps him with more points. Good. That preserves a lot of ammunition and at the same time we're going to be fine. Dashing up here with Diddy G. That's one. That's two. That's unfortunately a miss. double-checking we can't hand over more actions so what we need to do is the good old quick aim trick Mm. 
Why is it always so difficult with you guys? Okay, we're throwing a turret over here. And let's remote control this turret. <laughs> That's an immediate downer. I like it. Good, Ian destroys the egg. Everybody, by the way, gets will points back. And what else do we want to do? I think we're pretty much uh, through. Rail sits over here and takes an overwatch. Yeah, no need to uh, take over the turret. Murphy sits over here and just overwatch this end of turn. Okay, cool. Well, tell you what, we're doing a little jumpy jumpy over here. And a bit of that, and a bit of this, and then a bit of that. And that already solved our problem. And that solved another one. We need mutagens, which is by the way, as if you can't tell. Why I am so keen in getting these guys down. Oh, come on, you do have return fire on that distance. Good. Well, that already solved some of our issues. Euler moves a bit further. Dranks moves a little bit further. We are having that right hand side here very well under control thank you We just need to find the second breeding chamber and then we should be fine. Ian moves up, finds nothing really. I mean, look, the other chamber could be 
for all we're concerned, could be like right over here. Come on, really? Good, he will respawn. Yeah, there's that was not a surprise, but going to rain on your parade. War screamed him. And Ian makes his way all the way down to here. It's proper field medic. And whilst we're at it, proper healing. All right, so I needed to take a little bit of a break. Let me just recapture where we are. We want to continue to keep these guys well stunned throughout the entirety of the period here. Good. Fantastic paralysis. Uh, this guy will respawn. This guy will come in. Um, looking at our options, let's just reload, get a bit closer. We're opening this up. Drangs blocks into this direction. We got Dilly G also moving up. All of uh, these here will continue to be Paralyzed. Let's just make sure that Yeah, it's in enough turns. We got Plenty of turns left over and JP moves up Grell moves up and takes an overwatch now I will say in appropriate Murphy, we don't need you to go all the way over here. Oh, I see there is an enemy. Well, time for us to move a bit back. Oh, that would be a incredibly tough shot to hit, but apparently one of the bullets at least was hitting. Good. These are all the enemies that exist in here. We should have no problem whatsoever. Easy kill over here. Shadow Realm moves up. And we pump a lot of actions into him. A 
There you go. Some more. And we just captured ourselves another enemy. So what I want to do here is... Okay, apparently that does not work. Trains need to move a tiny bit forward. Let's try again. Good, apparently still doesn't work, so we need to move forward. What I wanted to do is capture the Umbra as well. Not sure if they count as a separate capturable um, enemy. I know that they can be paralyzed. Whether or not they can actually be taken into custody, I don't know. Uh, we paralyzed one already, but I'm not sure if we were able to capture it. I think that much I haven't followed up on. But it's a good time to figure it out, because if they offer us a big fat reward for capturing them, it would be a no-brainer. Good. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. There we go. Frenzy. I think what we need to do is destroy the last eggs. Sure, if there is something over here, but we'll figure. Uh, we'll find it out. Good. End of turn. Fair to say we do have a lot of captured enemies. Okay, we haven't triggered them yet, so I'll wait until next round here. Ian, yeah, moves up. Time for us to wrap it clear. One, two, moves up. guy needs a little bit more convincing there we go another kill and that might have been it yeah there we go
Yeah, we need to find a, an XP solution for Murphy and Pauly. My decision stands we're going to the American uh, continent. Born in the USA gives a lot of training. All right, the Pedora nest has been neutralized and we got a Triton, a Triton, an Arthron, an Arthron, an Arthron. I'm not sure if uh, the reanimated one actually uh, was successfully captured. Yeah, not sure. Repairing everything, cool. And now the question is, where do we want to go with our team? I think the answer is clear, at least to me. Let's move on to here. And here. And we had our starship over here, which after this, we're going to uh, move it to Born in the USA, take uh, the soldiers and actually move them over. Okay. Two for 12, good. Two for 10, semi good, not optimal. The disciples of Kanu Haven is under attack. Move here, and those guys will move there as well. Getting f some more food. Okay. Let's grab our soldiers here. And we got a new research. Medical Bay, 20% healing and bonus in battle. That's great. And healing increase by 50% is fantastic as well. We're now going to advance paralyzation weapons. That's good. Let's take a look at the Haven info. Oh yeah, we're just in time. Just in time, boys. So we're definitely going to protect them and that'll be our next mission. Uh, getting the Sanhedrins down. Matter of fact, I think uh, since this one was so short, might as well deploy. I'll actually do that mission. Attacking strength is moderate and it's the Forsaken attacking this time. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Just double checking, this is our squad number four, the Delta squad, which was this weird squad uh, where we had um, a few yeah, non-normal characters uh, in there. Um, first of all, our harvest of the Prime team has been very, very successful. Just look at that. The Arthrons are giving us a lot of mutagen. I mean, just look at it. We're almost at 600 mutagen. That is fantastic. Now, if we're deploying here, uh, we still had a few options. Uh, we mutated so far only the hat, right? And uh, we talked about non-typical mutations. So. Either we could uh, go for really, really fast uh, snipers that take high ground uh, because that allows us to jump one story or we're uh, going for incredibly stealthy snipers that would be combined with a infiltrator later. Currently we don't have a second class. So, hmm, could see both. I could see both. I don't necessarily see the melee one. And these here are our standard options, right? So we're not going to take them. So the question is, do we want to mutate into something stealthy or do I favor speed? 
I think we're going for stealthy. I like the idea of hidden snipers. So let's mutate that. And Guy Aaron already has a mutation. He does have agile legs, so he would be the quick sniper, which means for him we might find a more mid uh, field, mid range field uh, solution, whilst Bastard is really the more hidden sniper. On that note, uh, let's just exchange the uh, torsos because the Sinidrin one has a slight bit of stealth in there as well with 10 and the standard banshee one has less of that okay so he's the fast one uh, the other guy is the speedy one we got Ankit the doubter fully mutated already we got isabella fully mutated carlos is having that poison setup which is interesting goofy goofer is having a similar uh, situation just not as potent hmm let's see shall we he has pistols right yep he had pistols which means let's just get rid of the crossbow for him and instead use spider drones i really like the spider drones they are strong good very reliable and Sniper helmet. I think we're just going with that. Cool. Now, next up, Unstoppable Sam. Uh, Sam here is a technician, which means can't really take uh, mutate uh, the center torso, uh, which would not be good. Um, because then we can't use the arms and that would not be helpful. Instead, what I would say is Hmm, I'm thinking I mean we could mutate the torso technically speaking um, He just wouldn't have the ability to mount arms you know what? It should be an alternative group, okay? So how about we're just giving him mad kits, yeah? He, so that group is not as potent in healing. And I'll want to continue with the Venom Torso. He does not have a good weapon proficiency. So this here uh, will give him a decent weapon proficiency. And now the question is, what do I want the rest of Sam to look like? Uh, we could make him an agile uh, type of uh, mobile unit on the battlefield. I think that fits the theme quite well. So that way he is light armored, needs to stay in cover and can come out, chuk, 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 shoot a couple of uh, poisons towards the enemy and then go back into cover. That's an interesting way of playing the character. Very, very different to what we've seen before. Um, in terms of just firepower, I think we're straight up giving him mad kits. He does have his poison gun and that's pretty much all he has. That's fine. We don't need more. So he will be a bit of a mutated, uh, mutated healer slash poisoner. And finally, Jessica Rabbit. What are we doing with her? She's a heavy. She should be a frontliner. <clears throat> and I like the idea of making her a proper frontline. Now, how would how would we go about that? Like in terms of frontline, um, she could uh, take the regeneration torso. That would be a di bit different. She, <clears throat> as a heavy, would not have the typical um, ability to just like jump over the uh, battlefield typical setup would be head and uh, and feet right so it's kind of the end kit uh, setup the question is do we want to clone that or are we going with uh, something completely different right she has heavy weapons she also has melee attacks as a brawler 
Um, and what we could do is make her more mobile and make her a semi-melee. I could even go as far as to mutate her torso into yet another poison thrower. Then we have uh, the mullet for melee attacks and super fast legs uh, for her to be yet another. But that wouldn't solve our frontline problem. I think one way of going about it is really just giving her these stomping legs. Um, and hard to tell guys hard to tell we want a different builds and not always the same uh, we could give her that torso actually together with the fast legs which means she's more of a mobile striker slash support in melee she uh, takes the tentacles she then has war cry on top of it and heavy weapon um, it's very very light on armor then but she would be a quick uh, um, almost assault into the front line we can still think about it because i don't have the mutagens to fully pull it off as you can see uh, which means she has a bit more time to think about what we want to do but what i could already do is i could mutate her legs and then it's just a matter of which torso do we want. Uh, with Alex, she's faster. Granted, she also has less armor there. But uh, it would be more akin to the idea of a fast strike team. Uh, golem helmets or just the Odin helmets. Do the Golem helmets do anything? Less perception, less accuracy. If she's fast, then that is not an issue. 30 armor on the head is good. Yeah, sure. I think that will work. Very different characters. Very, very different characters than what I have normally built. But hopefully this is going to play out nicely. Um, let's see. One last thing. Can't get a second class, can't get anything, uh, can't get anything, can't get a second class, can't get that yet. Yeah, here we want a second class as well. Electrical reinforcements might be interesting. Maybe we're pushing willpower instead. Rage Burst is interesting. Let's go with Rage Burst. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we only have 160 hit points. Not good. Just looking at the hit points in general. Specifically, if you have low overall armor. We need to get to that 200 mark. To be somewhat meaningful. Okay, cool. Well, it's a start. It's not perfect yet, but we're going to go with it. All right, we landed and we got to kill all enemies uh, that are attacking, plus protect uh, the key structures. Uh, it's almost like always. We got a couple of uh, snipers, no, sniper and assault over there. Well, let's start with the important uh, things, uh, which is we got Psychic Screams and Frenzy. Ready to roll. Okay. Oh, the Forsaken. I remember these were the guys uh, that uh, were the Disciples of Anu, but just a bit more extreme, right? Wow. The movement rate is crazy. I like what I'm seeing.
We got a sniper here. Unfortunately, not a very accurate one, but we can still overwatch. On the flip side, um, we can push. sprint with the assault all the way into full cover. Assaults are great, I like them a lot. You like that? Oh, that's another assault. Let's ah! return ah! fire. We're going to take the high ground. Guy Aaron will have that side under control. Jessica is the fast um, assault type of heavy. Can you spot it? Moving in quick. Target located. She definitely is seeing quite a bit of the enemies already. Like it. And what I will do is I'll completely go into cover here. That way next time we can war cry and hit all of them. And whoever enters gets uh, very much hit. Watching. Very good. So we got a couple of poison options. Uh, we're fast. Unstoppable Sam is really fast. Easy enough. In One. Two. No hits, but overall good attempts. Let's do this. We need to get a bit closer. They are more mid-range than long range. Carlos does have the Oh here we go. Here we do have the psychic scream. And let us Move all the way over here so that we can also use this wall to our advantage. Isabella will be a perfect uh, candidate to just hold that secure and uh, nicely secure and tight. Can't overwatch with uh, the poison, that's unfortunate. Anti for Doubter is going a little bit closer to the enemy, not yet. And here we go. Enemy moves up, takes more shots. All we need to do is keep these guys here at bay and we should be fine. <clears throat> Apparently the Forsaken are really concerned about their friend because he gets a world-class treatment.
Lots of overwatches. Lots and lots and lots of overwatches. Can already say Placer in itself is a helpful, very helpful uh, scream. Now, what we need to do is deal with these overwatches at least a bit. Thankfully, we still have our snipers. Could start to scream at them. One, two. Very nice hit. He's infected, so that per definition means he will not be able to uh, survive the next round. Isabella moves up. And yeah, we're going to shatter them. <laughs> what a nasty play. This guy is already down to three will points. Good. Wait a second. Over here, we're still overwatching. Ready. Good. Next up. Oh! I don't like the return fire, and we're, it seems we're taking more damage than they than they do. Fortunately, also lost our arm. Shot. There we go. I'm listening. I'll keep my eyes open. It's interesting to see how difficult the Sanhedrins, how much of a difficult time they have just to get that guy down. Slowly but surely making our way over to the other side. Ah, slight hit for Ankit. But just uh, that just does make him more angry. back into cover one two shot wide three one of them really connected Moving suboptimal, as I can would say. Here we go. Launching a few spider drones. Reloading. Reloading. Proceeding. And we're connecting in that direction. Uh, con um, continuing to move uh, towards uh, that direction.
All right, Overwatch and a third. They have now figured out that we're behind the walls. Okay, so, fun fact. Everybody is panicked. I know, it sucks, right? For some reason they are allowed to fully be mutated. <laughs> Minus eight armor. It's a good start. We still have enough willpower. To theoretically continue. I'll be right Let's there. just regain our focus whilst everybody else is in panic. Um, snipers. Move up. Next turn we can hopefully Ready. come to the other side. Uh, do we have a technician? Yes, we do. Stands over there, unstoppable Sam. Dashing. But I don't want to use the um, medication to uh, to help someone that we're not seeing in the future. So the assault, unfortunately, is out of the combat due to the loss of his arm. Good. Spiders trigger overwatch, fair enough. And hit continues to move in. Nice little hit overall. Bastard moves up. Takes a very solid shot. Here. Let's go. Unstoppable Sam uses the Engaging. option. <laughs> Starting to nicely poison uh, these guys. How could you miss that? Carlos moves up. We're going to re frenzy very soon. Taking full cover over here. Let's see if we can kill the guy. Good. Infiltrator. Uh, 
Moves up, shoots, and On my way. goes back into cover. And turn. Unfortunately, he healed himself before he was moving. Ah, that is... That is very unfortunate. Good, Carlos moves in. I'm here. Sam moves up. Okay, Ninety. And another one. Got gotcha. Hundred forty. That should be enough to kill him, right? Yeah, easy. Aiming. Okay. Yep. Some of these guys already panic. I like it. Spider drone moves in. That's a nasty hit. Trying that right, right again. Yeah, legs disabled, arms disabled. Oh boy. Spider here is just going to stand the ground. Uh, in case anyone comes uh, through here, we're going to shoot at them immediately. Sniper moves up, takes a good overwatch. Assault just does nothing. We're done here as well. That's one down. And let's try to kill another one. Go. Guy Aaron has a really nice flanking position here. Kit, the doubter comes down. Scores a big fat kill. And the enemy is almost down uh, to their reserves. There is like one enemy left. Unless I'm missing something. I was born ready. Proceeding. It's interesting to see I'll get you. just the amount of damage that you can deal even with this group here. Different tools, different toys, but very much also efficient.
Jessica moves up. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. These guys are getting some skill points for the first time. So overall, yeah, not uh, not a bad outcome. And we save the Haven. Plus the Forsaken are a bit of a change of pace uh, when we're elsewise just fighting against uh, Pandorans every single time. The one thing that I regret is it seems five skill points per mission are a bit little compared to uh, to what you actually need in order to level up soldiers. It might be just me I'm not understanding something, but boy, that is not a lot. But we're going to stay in South America. Trading here. Moving up. New nest has been discovered. Uh, tell you what. We're going to go about that immediately. Let's not wait for too long. Good. And that will be our next mission. Taking strength 19 uh, Pandorans. That looks like a pretty beefy, juicy mission that we can do. Uh, but the C team, the Gamma team, should be all up for the task. Uh, whilst the Alpha team's going to take the Pandoran nest out, then fly over and get the two antediluvian runes there. Uh, keep in mind, we still have one more antediluvian rune uh, that had been discovered there. So that's on our radar as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have uh, know about another antediluvian rune, click the like button and tell them. That's the way to spawn them here in game. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.